Hey everybody, welcome back to another recipe of the week with Cooking Rules with Jules, that's me. My name is Julia Pontanis and I'm here to help you make your kitchen experience not only incredibly easy, healthy, but also delicious too. For your recipe of the week, this week I have a very simple stuffed portobello mushroom that could either go completely meatless if you wanted, completely paleo, which is how I'm going to make it, or you can add a little finesse and add a little cheese to it. So there are variations on a theme to this recipe. But before I start, as always, thank you so much for tuning in. I post a video once a week, every Wednesday, unless I'm traveling, then sometimes it's every other week. Go ahead, you can click that subscribe button and get notifications, and you'll always know when a new video is out. Also, you can be a part of the community and tell me what's going on uh, when you recreate these recipes. And I'm sorry I'm laughing because the cat right now is going to town on the box. So I'm going to just pause this until she is done having a party in the box. Hold that thought. It is always something. Am I not right <laughs> or am I right? Um, even in my life, there are always constant, you know, challenges and just who knew that Callie decided she was going to start shredding a box in the middle of this cooking video. Anyways, let's get this party started. So what we have going here today, I have preheated my oven to 375 and I've also heated my skillet over here over a medium high heat because this is a two part recipe. The first thing I'm going to do and what you will need is about a third of a pound of ground sausage. So remember, if you are keeping this paleo, it needs to have no additives to it, preservatives, and no sugar. If you are going without meat, well then you're just gonna disregard this and use something else, perhaps a meat substitute, whatever you like. If you are not going paleo and you're okay with a little bit of extra in your sausage, then go ahead and uh, use it whatever it's your choice. But for me, I'm gonna keep my paleo, so I have some nice pork sausage here that doesn't have any of the above ingredient in it. Going to go ahead and get this browning in my pan. So here we go. Have a nice little sizzle happening here. And I'm going to break it up and use not this spatula. It's just all going to hold the hand basket. Hang on. Take two. I got a wooden spoon. So I have a wooden spoon to break up my pork sausage. So this already has some spices in it, so I'm not really going to overspice anything, um, but I am going to get it browned up. And what I will add to it, no salt, is some ground walnuts for a little bit of texture because I happen to have these on hand. Some dried flat leaf par parsley to kind of brighten that flavor up a little bit. And then of course, our star of the event, we are going to need some very nice sized portobello mushrooms. These I found at Trader Joe's and they are beautiful. They have enough space in there for us to stuff them with a little bit of sausage. And I'm also gonna oil those down while I am browning up the pork back here. So I'll come back to you once this pork is ready to go and I can add in the other ingredients. So also, while my meat back there is browning, what I'm going to do is prep out these portobello mushroom caps. So I have some organic olive oil here, and all I'm gonna do is drizzle some olive oil on top, and then give them a nice little seasoning with some sea salt, the usual. I'm trying a different camera angle today. See how this goes. You guys got a good shot of my my shoulder. It's just one of those epically going wrong Tuesdays, everyone. All right, so I've seasoned them with salt. I'm going to flip them over and do the same here. I'm going to drizzle them with a little bit of olive oil, which by the way, this ground sausage behind me actually did not render a lot of fat. So that is good. It means we're not going to have overly greasy portobello mushrooms. It also means we don't want our mushrooms to dry out. I have also went ahead and added my dried parsley. Once again, if I had had fresh leaf parsley, I would have chopped it up and threw it in there. But this is a very 
last minute, what the heck am I going to make for dinner kind of night. And I just happened to have mushrooms, sausage, and walnuts. And I was like, ah, perfect. I will make some stuffed portobello mushrooms. Now remember, because we're gonna throw all of this into the oven, I don't have to have the sausage cooked up all the way. It can be mostly them, but I do wanna make sure that it's broken up enough into little clumps and that when I stir in my walnuts, which again, by the way, is another fat, even though nuts have protein, it is a fat, it's going to also release some of its uh, oils when it's in there. So again, I have some leftover chopped walnuts, perfect. I'm gonna sprinkle two tablespoons in there. That's what we're gonna call this, two tablespoons. Again, not using any breading, keeping it paleo. If you wanted to get fancy smancy and use an egg and go with all kinds of fun um, panko crumbs, you could do that too. But again, this is a healthy minded, quick and easy, Julia's just making stuff that she has on hand and showing that you too can also do it. I'm gonna kill the heat on that, boom, great. I have another, another utensil here. Just going to stir all of this up. One more time, everyone. And I'll bring the camera over here too, so you can see what's going on. And we are going to stuff some mushrooms. This little mixture is looking good to go. So I'm just gonna take little spoons and just place it on the top here and filling it just above the rim of the mushroom cap. Then I'm gonna throw them in the oven at 375 for about another 10 to 15 minutes. Portobello mushroom caps are filled. Those are looking amazing. And into the oven they go. Once again, only for about another 15. To and there you have it folks, been about 15 minutes and these mushrooms are looking fantastic. Well, thank you everyone for joining me today in my not so together kitchen because this is how it rolls sometimes, right? It's just been a long day. I've had a full book of clients, full day of training. This time change is killing me. Not really. It just takes a little bit of adjustment. But anyways, I'm here for you always keeping it real in mom's retro kitchen. So have a fantastic rest of your day. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you again next week. Bye.